All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be putting this Cox vacuum hose reel on the wall, hooking it up to our rigid portable vac, and we're gonna turn this vacuuming area into a full functioning interior cleaning station. It's gonna be super sick. And before we get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell, so you can be sure to catch all the episodes we put up. So let's get started by putting this thing on the wall and let's get moving, yeah. Right, so to get started, we need to make a template uh, so that we know where we're going to drill these holes into the wall. So I just took a normal piece of cardboard and then we'll set the reel on top of it. And we'll trace out the holes. So we'll just cut this out and then we can maneuver that around on the wall until we're happy with it. All right, so here we go. We're gonna cut it out now just to get that perfect template. By the way, Cox Reels, if you're watching this, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to send one of these with the reel itself. All right, so before we put the drywall up, we took some measurements of all the studding back there and I put some nice backer plates in there. Here's a pic of that stuff. So now because of that, we know all of our measurements. I got them written down here and we're gonna go ahead and lay out the project now. Okay, so now that we got the reel mounted on the wall and man, it is super tight, it's level. Let's go ahead and get the handle on and get this hose wound up. satisfying right there. So as was everything with this custom garage, we're gonna custom fit the length of this hose. We no longer need it, the quality's poor anyway, but it's gonna be more than enough to go from the reel up to the actual vacuum cleaner. We'll just pull these apart, and we'll make the cut, all right. All right, so let's plug this into the vacuum and get a dry fit and see the length that we need. All right, our goal when routing this hose is we don't want to make it do any harsh 90 degree corners. So I'm going to make it long enough where it comfortably goes right into this socket here. So I would say right there looks pretty good. All right, so we'll go ahead and cut that. Now we're going to go ahead and clean up that cut. That was a little bit nasty, so. Just want to be real careful with this razor knife. Always cut away from your hands. All right, that looks better. It's nice and clean. Let's go ahead and plug it back in. All right, so now we got to cut down the size. We got our fitting put back on. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see how our bends look here. 
Oh yeah, that's nice. Perfect. All right, let's give it a try. All right, so we got that all wrapped up and I think that looks awesome. That's the Cox vacuum hose reel hooked up to the rigid portable vac. And I'll tell you what, it's a killer setup. Let's go ahead and give it a test. Butter smooth operation. Man, that comes off really nice. Man, a 35 foot of hose, that suction is still fantastic. So I'm looking forward to getting one of these dirty details all vacuumed up. And most of all, my favorite part about this entire setup is how easy it is to put away. That is it, we're done. All right, so if you like these type of videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell so that you'll be notified about all the different cool garage stuff we're doing. All right, we'll see you the next time, yeah.